actually been a really great adventure. I think one of the things that I've um, liked most about the first uh, eight months on the job is this um, ability to go around the world and see the different offices. It's fascinating to see what everybody is up to around the world. It's interesting to see where we're aligned, uh, where our DNA is really showing up at, at its strongest, and of course where we have differences and, and where we should celebrate those things. Gray has historically been known as a strategic agency. From its founding, it was really an agency that was about business results, uh, business results that were um, that were founded on consumer insights, and it's always had a really strong strategic foundation. Over the last 10 years, we've shifted our focus um, to creativity, but we haven't thrown out the need to be strategic. So our, our mantra is famously effective, and that's really the combination of creativity, strategy, and of course, business results. I think that the key moving forward for our industry is to provide clients with a variety of structures that work for them. This notion of one size fits all uh, isn't going to work as we move in, into the future. So some of the things that we're doing in terms of evolved structures is we're using technology so that clients can tap into our talent base all over the world. In fact, we just launched something recently uh, on behalf of Procter & Gamble that allows us to take uh, creative briefing to a truly global place where teams are able to put a creative brief into a platform and then tap into uh, creative minds all over the great network. So the, the, the structure is going to change, that's just one example, but we're also looking at all kinds of uh, partnerships and collaborations with, with other companies within WPP um, as, uh, as, as the, the needs arise for our clients. I understand uh, the desire to take work in-house, and I think that there are certain things that, that truthfully a client can take in-house. I do believe wholeheartedly, however, that creativity takes a certain kind of culture uh, to, to really thrive. And unless a client is willing to create that culture, I believe that there's still value, of course, in, in an agency and the environment that, that we're able to create for, for creativity to thrive. I think one of the biggest differences between being the CEO of a creative organization versus another type of organization is really um, taking care of the culture. Uh, creativity takes bravery. Uh, the entire organization is basically an R&D lab. Uh, we never know exactly what's, what's going to transpire or what the, the end product is going to be when, when something is briefed. And so you need to create a culture where people feel comfortable um, putting themselves out there, putting their ideas out there, encouraging people to take really uh, hard stances on, on their opinion uh, with conviction, and then realizing that uh, at the same time, taking inputs from, from other places. It's, it's a very unique sort of cultural uh, phenomenon that I think creative organizations have. So I think one of the great things that's happening right now in advertising is the notion that uh, brands are realizing that it's, they're not simply what, uh, what they tell the consumers are, but the dialogue that's now created and, and this notion that it truly takes a village. Uh, it takes a village to raise and, and to cultivate a brand and I think that that is really exciting that uh, consumers are now a part of actually defining what a, what a brand looks like. I think the notion that something is either really brilliant storytelling or really effective at sales, this notion that the two are mutually exclusive is probably the most dangerous thing that's happening in our business right now. I think that really great storytelling should drive sales and it's not only digital work backed by data um, that, that can achieve that, I think it's those things plus really great storytelling. So Gray is uh, focused on some of the obvious markets that, that most global marketers are looking at. Uh, we clearly uh, are boosting up our presence in China. We have a lot of interesting uh, things happening there. We also have a great operation, a very strong operation in Japan. 
Uh, we have new leadership in place in India, and I'm looking for some very exciting things to come out of, out of that region for us. Korea uh, is really at, at the forefront of some of the things that we're doing digitally uh, across the Gray Network. Uh, and then in terms of clients, uh, clearly we like to, to build our organization to reflect the needs of our clients. And Indonesia continues to be uh, growing in its importance, so we'll continue to focus there. Those are probably our top markets.